Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro, where we last left off, we'd made it to the Beast Makers. And yeah, we literally just arrived here, didn't we? Okay, cool. So we have a fresh world plunder. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I've had to put the two chaos engines out because they're creating a hell of a noise. Uh, I've bought them a new battle tent, uh, which is interesting. I didn't know you could buy tents for cats, but uh, apparently you can. Uh, <laughs> and they love it. It's like a little pop-up tent that uh, has about four different ways in and some dingly danglies uh, that they like to play with. And it, they have turned it into their very own battle arena, which, uh, well, seemed like a good idea at the time until it's, uh, you know, three o'clock in the morning and they're tearing the thing to pieces. Anyway. Let's go rescue Bruno. Welcome back, Bruno. Nasty North is turning our swamp into an electrified dump heap. Oh, and it used to be so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was. Well, I guess it was beautiful in its own little way. Oh, shit. Almost. So, what have we got there? Uh, that's the Terrace Village. I like that level. But, as always, we're going to clear up the uh, hub world first. Now, I believe... I believe... There's an achievement here. Uh, mushroom Hunter. Beast Maker's Home. Claim five glowing mushrooms. Yes. Funny enough, actually, um, I was flaming these mushrooms uh, on the Switch version. And although you can flame them, it doesn't actually do anything. And there are those mushrooms there. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything. So I was wondering what the point in them was. And then, of course, I remembered back to the uh, PlayStation version. Of course, there are trophies linked to it. Now, these hogs are pretty bad if you let them charge you. If you're not very, very much aware of what's going on, they will... Uh, well, wow. <laughs> blindside you quite easily, actually. They're nasty little fuckers, but that's okay. I'm not sure if you can charge them actually head on. Maybe you can. Uh, Misty Bog. Yeah, Misty Bog. Oh, there we go. There's one. I've got to try and remember where all of these uh, mushrooms are. They're actually pretty well hidden, considering. Now, I think we can jump down there. We can, but I think... I think we need the key to do that, because I think that's where the actual chest is. It's been a good little while since I've actually played this uh, level now. But hey, I'm sure it'll all come back to us. Cletus! Excellent. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I gotta go. Alright, buddy. You go. I don't know where you're going. Maybe uh, if you want to kill a couple of hogs or two. Oh, see? That was a little bastard. He actually hides. I'm not sure why the uh, initial flame didn't take him out there. I didn't actually forget him. I just uh, <laughs> flamed the wall instead of in front of me. Spyro, that's not very smart. Okay, not bad. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's actually a chest down here. There is a chest, but it is not a locked chest. And there's also mushrooms. This is a flight level, I believe. Yeah, wild flight. We'll come back to that obviously. Uh, World Plate's not actually a bad one. Uh, I've probably jinxed myself pretty significantly now by saying that. But uh, as a general rule, it's not a bad one. Misty Bog. Cool. We're going back this way. Let's go. Oh god, I hope they make a new Spyro game. But then I'm quite lucky. Uh, luckier compared to most Spyro fans because... Um, I've still basically got two Spyro games to play that I've never played before. Two and three. Right, let's have a chicken. Mm-mm. Finger looking good. Treetops. Yes. Treetops. Uh, not exactly my favourite uh, favorite level. To be fair, the, the level itself is actually pretty good. It's a pretty solidly designed level. It's um, There's a lot of layers to it. It's very vertical. <laughs> it's just, you know, I'm shit when it comes to the jumps. 
that's where the problem comes from. It's not necessarily that the level's difficult, because it's not very really difficult at all. It's just, I am shit at the jumps. I don't even mind, like, admitting that fact. I am awful. So, it's, it's not the game's fault at all. That's all on me, baby. Uh, right, okay. So, we've got some more mushrooms there. So, how many mushrooms are we up? We're up two or three. I think we might have missed that moat. We got them. Get fucked. I love these metalheads, man. They're just sitting there fucking rocking out. Okay. Now, to kill these chickens, let's just flame some of these chickens. See if we can get some blues, I guess. There's some more mushrooms. There's another one behind this pyramid, of course. Which hopefully we shall get in a minute. I don't know what it is about this game, you know? Why? Like, it's just so good. Is it nostalgia? I mean, maybe it is, you know? Maybe it's my nostalgia glasses. Um, the old rose-tinted glasses getting to me. Hey, we did it. We did it. We were on that shit. Uh, yeah, so Christopher asked, when did this come out on the Xbox? Because uh, he said he uh, would have bought that version instead. Um, I don't actually know if this came out on the Xbox the same time it came out on the PlayStation. I think it might have come out afterwards. Um, I know the PC version was actually released quite a bit, possibly a year after the PlayStation 4 version. Um, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know if they came out at the same time. Actually, I've got a feeling that the, the Xbox and the PlayStation version came out at the same time. Uh, I'm pretty sure they did. And then a, exactly a year later, we got the PC version. Um, now, I wanted the PlayStation version because it's what I remember. I, I obviously remember playing Spyro with a PlayStation control pad. So, you know, but the Xbox One X version is better. It has better shadows and um, there's a few other, like, visual treats like the lighting is slightly crisper and cleaner on the xbox one x as well so that's the version that i'm doing so i actually bought it on the xbox um because they had thousands of copies of it everywhere it wasn't sold out at all whereas um you i literally could not find it anywhere on the playstation 4 and yeah that was before i was living with my missus actually so what i did is she eventually found it when it got restocked she found it on the um ps4 <clears throat> and she gave me the ps4 version so i gave her my um xbox version and now that doesn't really matter because we're living together so you know i finished uh, the playstation 4 version at least of spyro one anyway uh, and it, it went down to about a tenner on the Switch. So I bought it on the Switch because I want to support this. I want more Spyro. So there's Metalhead. I'm not going to worry. Where should we go then? All right, we're not going to do Metalhead just yet because... No! Uh-uh. Not doing the treetops. No, no. Uh-uh. Not yet. Not yet. You know what would be cool, actually, on this map? It would be cool if um, the world gates actually showed up on it. That would be a nice little uh, extra. No! Oof, that was iffy. Luckily. Right, Terraced Village. I'm trying to remember Terraced Village. Mm. I know this level. I like this level. This level's cool. Misty Bog is a bit tricky. There's some very nasty angles uh, towards the end of that level, which really can screw you over. But, uh, you know, not a seasoned veteran such as such as me, you understand. <laughs> oh, boy. Eh, we, we, we'll make it work, I'm sure. Right, so what do we have here? Yes. Oh, look how good this looks. Look at Aura Borealis. Up in the sky there. This is just a giant L. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Cool. Let's go take these dudes out now. Let's cut through here because there's some nice juicy... Ooh. Look, check out these guys in their massive like gun turrets. I actually really like these uh, enemies. 
Now they did make a change um, to one of the enemies. One of the final enemies, actually. Um, in Nasty Nauts level. There's enemies that wield machine guns. And they've actually swapped those out in this version. They don't have machine guns, they have paintball guns. Because, you know, we live in the year uh, 2018, I believe. At least that's when this game came out. Yeah, pretty sure this game was 2018. It literally the tail end of 2018. Came out in November, I think. Ooh, you little bastard. Alright, let's just grab up all of these. Nice. Man, look how you know, they put so much detail into these enemies. They really look freaking fantastic, man. Uh, the only thing that would have made this better is if they got the uh, console version, or even if the, they got the enhanced console version, up to um, 60 FPS. I think that would have, you know, that would have really made um, quite a difference. Would have been the icing on the cake. Okay. They just focused on making this game look as good as they possibly could, and <laughs> they succeeded, man. Alright, now, this game pretty much got universal praise by everybody. Everybody seemed to uh, have enjoyed Spyro Remaster. But a few criticisms were about the level design. You know, the game is basically the same because, uh, well, yes, of course it's the same as it was 20 years ago. It's the same fucking game. Um, but yeah, they, they said that the actual gameplay itself had aged. And, yes, hey, cool. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity. I see that. Indeed. Right, well, don't worry about that. Yeah, so the gameplay has actually aged quite a lot. Ooh, that was bad timing on my part. But the thing is, we don't really get a huge amount of games like this anymore. So I think that's kind of a moot point, you know? But personally, I find the whole, uh, you know, the whole premise of just finding gems, unlocking um, dragons and, and finding the eggs, there's something therapeutic about it, you know, 100% uh, of the levels one by one. Oof, almost. Shit, that's fine. That's fine. Now, the controls have been radically redesigned, I know that much. It actually controls like a modern game. You know, you've got so much more control over the camera than you did uh, 20 years ago. And I actually think that's probably the biggest difference after the visuals. Probably because, you know, it's like the only difference after the visuals. And there were negative criticisms to how long the, the levels take to load. And, well, I mean, they don't really take that long, do they? Let's be fair. They're longer than the original uh, game on the PlayStation. I mean, those levels, they loaded in seconds. They really were very impressive how quickly they, they actually loaded that shit. But, you know, when you look at the uh, <laughs> the sheer visual difference, it's kind of night and day, really. That We're obviously loading monumentally more data. And the PlayStation for the time as well was, oh, diapering. Hey, Cybrin. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Mm hmm Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. Yeah, I agree, Spyro. It's not my favorite place. But don't worry, we'll have this place wrapped up pretty soon. Uh, and I've lost my train of thought now. Because, uh, thanks, Cybrin. You're one of the good ones. Okay. Oof. I mean, it's pretty mental to just... I'm just, like, looking at Spyro's character model. I've got a uh, Spyro Pop. I'm not a huge fan of Pops. I think most of them look a bit weird, but the Spyro one's pretty good. And he's got a Sparks um, character to go with him as well. And, like, the character model in this... Jesus fuck, man. Look at Spyro. He looks like you could reach into the screen and, and, and grab him. He, it's... Pretty unbelievable how good they got this uh, this game to look. Even now, it still surprises me sometimes just how good it looks. I mean, look at this. Look at these fools here. 
No skydiving? Why not? Well, I guess so. Fair enough. No skydiving, Spyro. Probably not a good idea anyway, because uh, Spyro's likely to fall to his death and, you know, die, because he can't actually fly. Which is a bit sucky. Oh, shit. But yeah, uh, absolutely, I do... Oh, God. That was bad. <clears throat> I thought there was a seam there. I didn't realise he was going to electrocute the entire plate. So... We will be looking at the PlayStation 2 uh, version of this game. Uh, or, I can't remember what it is. They, I think they brought out like three on the PlayStation 2. I mean, they definitely brought out two. There's Year of the Dragon, I think. Or was it Enter the Dragon? Something like that. Um, but all I really remember about that one was there were different um, power-ups you can get for your breath. Like, you can have ice breath and, and wind breath and all that kind of stuff. And there were aliens in it as well. I kind of... Why does that stick in my head? I'm sure there were aliens in it. Because, um... We had... I remember a barn. You had to go into a barn and help some people. And there was like a UFO in the barn. Um, yeah. That, that's... <laughs> that's kind of bringing bells in my brain. But, you know, this was many, many years ago. When the PS2 was, was relevant. And I, from what I played of it, I enjoyed it. You know, but um, as I say, I, I I can't remember exactly what was wrong with that. So we are a few treasures short, but we need to go activate the fireworks. Because there's a lot of fireworks on this level. And I believe there's either a skill point involved. Uh, oh, Terrace Village. Um, no electric floor damage. Oh. Alright. That's actually very easy if you concentrate on what you're doing and don't be a big stupid knob like me and just charge around. It's actually incredibly easy to do that. It's just uh, me being stupid. Now, as for achievements, I'm sure... Uh, 500 gems. Lofty castle. Yeah, somewhere there's an achievement for... Misty Bog, yeah, we'll do that. Right, so Tesh, light three fireworks within 15 seconds. Yes, I remember that. So, okay. So, you've got a firework there, a firework there. And one there. Yeah, this is like a piece of piss, really. Or it would be if I didn't fall down. There we go. Is that going to count? Do they actually have to launch in the 15 seconds? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, easy. Okay, cool. I, I thought I remembered that. Alright, we're going to have to go through this level again. Um and not get hit by the electric fence or the electric flooring but hey that's that's fine we can do that we don't have to collect anything so we just got to zap through the level i think that's everything we can get down here now we just got to go back up what we like for treasure yeah we're we're on it we've got this we've got this all right give me some of that sweet sweet save point Bugger, I totally forgot about that skill point. I knew there was one where we had to avoid electric, but I didn't think it was this level. Arse cakes. Okay. Well, if we don't have to concentrate on collecting all the gems and whatnot, it, it will be easier and significantly quicker as well. So, I don't think it mentions getting hit by the electric guys, does it? Flame all of the directional fairies in crystal flight. Okay, we haven't done that either. That's that's actually a really easy one to do. Dry canyon, charge a vulture. That's uh, really easy as well. Man, these are all really easy. Flame 10 sheep in stone hill. Really? All right. Uh, wild flight without touching the ground. <coughs> uh, yeah, that... that mm, definitely more than doable, but could be tricky. Gems can be rough. Where is that? Full Dark Passage. 
Yeah. Uh huh. Icy flight as well. Never land on the ground. Do we not do that? Okay. Uh, defeat the four nightmare beasts in one glide. Uh, six gears, yeah. Where was that? Collect all the gems. Have I missed it? Right, I think it's just, yeah. We've just got to avoid. Just got to avoid the, sh the lightning, I'm pretty sure. Fairly easy to do. Just need to, you know, concentrate. Alright, cool. We can do that, can't we, Sparrow? We've, we've, we've done it before. We've got, like, everything on the PlayStation. Pretty much everything, anyway. In the first game. In fact, yes, I have. I've platinum the first game. There we go. Job done. Complete. Right, let's get the hell out of here. And then we shall redo this level quickly. Have you got anything for me, friend? No. Nope. You're just a basic bitch. We don't like basic bitches around here. Okay. Yeah, these levels, you know, they're quite they're surprisingly short. They're definitely not all equal, are they? I mean, if you're just going point to point just to get through the level, some of them, fucking hell. They're really short. I think Spyro 2 was significantly bigger. Because when this game came out, I remember, obviously, Insomniac really wanted to challenge... Um, Super, uh, not Superman, uh, Mario 64. Because Mario 64, uh, or should I say, a Mario 64 like game was thought to be impossible on the PlayStation. Now, the worlds weren't quite as big, as, obviously. But um, I think, you know, what they accomplished with the PlayStation, which was technically inferior to the N64, the only thing the PlayStation had over the 64 really was the uh, CD which could hold <laughs> monumentally more information alright so let's try that again ok level 100% complete yeah, yeah yeah we know we know we're just here for the beats alright get out of here dude you're done alright now we're just gonna Go oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, pretty sure that doesn't matter. Ow, dude, this guy's fucking me up. Alright, looks like we're going to have to go and get some uh, food for sparks after all. Really? Really? I flamed the I flamed the chicken. I flamed the chicken. That was bad, man. We just got, like, totally wiped. Ugh. Well, I'm going to hang my head in shame on that one. Alright. Let's see if we can get some more lives by being lucky. Okay, cool. Alright, you're done. No, you're not, you bastard. Literally run into that as well. Oof. I don't know what you're shooting at. Oh, right, you're shooting at the chickens. Don't shoot the chickens, dude. No, no blues. Ugh. Okay. Alright, well, let's go around these guys. Luckily, electricity does not travel very fast in this world. And that's fine by me. Oh, God. There we go. I think they shoot like four times. They have four cycles, something like that. And there's one in the corner. Nope, we've already taken them out, apparently. All right, cool. Pretty wicked combination, actually. You've got the big, strong melee guys right in your face. And then, of course, you've got these, uh, these close combat guys. This level doesn't fuck around. Right, go on. Oh, come on. Right, one second, guys. Okay, so apparently, even though that we did get hit, we definitely got hit there. <laughs> I just went to leave the level, uh, and we got the skill point. But we did get hit by the electric floor twice actually <laughs> so not really sure how that works but hey you know we did it that's fine okay cool right let's go get some food for sparks and get ourselves an extra life in the uh <laughs> in the process i suppose 
Right, there you go, buddy. Hmm. Butterflies. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Uh, not sure what the hell happened there. I don't know why that skill point popped. It literally doesn't make any sense. Also, I'm pretty sure, from what I can remember of the PlayStation version, the skill point popped um, when you actually hit the return home thing. Not when you stand here. Uh, because, of course, you can stand here and then go back through the level to collect uh, gems and still get hit. Okay, that's weird. I don't know about that, guys. I don't know about that one. That was a bit strange. But hey, there we go. Game thought it was a good enough run. Doesn't pass my standards, but... What is done is done. Okay. So, where should we go next? Misty Bog, I guess. Misty Bog is staring us in the face. Alright, well... We definitely have something to do in Misty Bog. Now, what one was that? It wasn't a skill point, was it? Uh, no. It was an achievement. I really wish um, on the Xbox uh, they would stop moving where everything is hidden. Um, so, Stone Hill, Sunny Flight, do a loop de loop around one of the arches. I mean, that's easy. That's a rare, really? I guess some people just don't check uh, achievements, I suppose. Uh, Crystal Flight. Hmm. Actually, we don't really have time to do another level. So, what we will do, let's go back and get some more achievements. The adventure continues, I guess. And then when we come back, we'll do treetops. Yes, we shall do treetops. And we will see. <laughs> Let's see how many clones of Spyro we can actually kill. Oh my god, the music here is fantastic. I feel like I'm coming home. Right, I don't know how many sheep we need to flame. Because I'm guessing we've already flamed some. But hopefully they will respawn to some degree. I don't think Sparks actually has to eat them either. Alright, friend. Let's just cook your ass. There we go. Give me them. Give me them. Give me them. Nice. So... Or was it actually on a specific world that we had to do that? Stone Hill. Right, okay. So we've actually got to go to Stone Hill. Okay, cool. Let's go do Sunny Flight. We've got to do a loop the loop around one of the arches. Now, I'm not really sure if it means a arch that we need to fly through or just, you know, an arch <laughs> uh, that's holding up the bridge. No, can't really remember. But hey, let's go find out. Now, to do a loop de loop, I believe... Yeah, okay. So we're 100% on this. I'm pretty sure we've just got to go under here. Do that. Is that it? Yep, okay. So it's one of these. Barnstormer. Okay. Nice. No, we don't want to retry. God damn it. There we go. So that's one more achievement down. Let's go grab the one at Stonehill. Because that, again, should be fairly quick and easy to grab. Returning to artisans. God, look how nice the sky is. Oh, the music. Oh, let's, let, let's mix it up a little bit, shall we? Uh, let's go for the original. Oh, I mean, the original score's good. But it definitely lacks impact. Which, you know, considering the bitrate and whatnot that these old systems were running at, isn't too surprising. Right, let's go to Stonehill. 
But I think the Spyro soundtrack is pretty timeless, to be fair. Not to mention how much memory they had to work with. I mean, the PlayStation had something like uh, two megabytes of RAM, which oof, that's, that's so hard to even comprehend right now. Two megabytes. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember I was saying about how um, state of the art for the time the PlayStation was. You know, how quickly the uh, uh, laser could actually pull information off the disc. As opposed to with these consoles, you know, they use really slow mechanical drives, even by today's standards. These uh, hard drives in these consoles, uh, you know, they're pathetic. So, you know, loading, loading was always going to be an issue with these consoles, with their terribly slow CPUs and, you know, pathetically slow mechanical drives. Not sure why they didn't have 7200 RPM drives in as standard. I'd have loved to have known the cost difference, you know, to manufacture a um, console with a 7200 RPM drive as opposed to a uh, 5200 or 5400, I should say. Not really sure. I mean, I guess when they were producing these consoles, they literally saved every single penny they could. Because these were like some of the cheapest consoles in history. Um, when you think about the technology that they had for the time, they were really bad. You know, you look at the Xbox One and the PS5, they are truly state-of-the-art systems. There we go. You know, um, so it, yeah, the ugh, the eighth generation systems I think are, are going to go down in history as the most mediocre uh, generation. I think. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, that works. <laughs> right. Anyway, guys, when we come back, we're going to go back to the Beast Makers. And, um, yeah, we're going to go to the treetops because that that seems like a, a good thing to do. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> my most hated level in this game. Ugh. But, hey, you know, what could possibly go wrong, right? So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.